Hi there everyone, welcome back to Infinity Drones. Today we're going to take a look at how to root and unlock your DJI V2 goggles, even if you've updated the latest firmware, maybe you're a DJI PV owner and you didn't know about rooting and getting all the good stuff, but now you're getting into FPV and you realize you want to have WDF OS and some nice custom OSD and you can't do it because you've updated too far. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're just going to jump into Google, type in WTF OS, butter, and then you're going to open this page. If you've got the V2 goggles, you can just scroll down and you can see there's a super pack. Okay, now there's a bunch of instant information here. I really recommend you go through everything and read it. But if you've got V1, you should take a look at that. If you've got the V2, you should take a look at these. Okay, but in our case, why go through the whole process if we just want to go and do everything at once? In this case, for the first time users, which is you guys, we can just use this one. Okay, so I'm just going to click on it. But this will downgrade your goggles to a rootable version. It will automatically root them for you. And then it will also upgrade them to the latest firmware. This is great because this is like a one-stop shop. It will upgrade the DJI version. The Avata, the O3 basically will support absolutely everything for you. If you only fly Air Units and Vistas, then obviously you don't have to care about the compatibility. Then you can go and use the following package below, as you guys can see over here. But in our case, why not the o3 is here the o3 is great and i really recommend it take a look at it okay so once it's downloaded we're just going to quickly unzip okay so i've just unzipped the file that i've just downloaded as you can see there's the one firmware version there's the other firmware version and there's a nice little readme package that you're going to go over here so v8 says listen hey this is the butter pack what it's going to do it's going to downgrade your firmware for you it's going to root it. it's going to do everything for you so essentially we're just going to follow whatever we need to do over here over here it says we need to install the drivers, the package in the rear. So let me just start that quickly while we wait. A little pop up like this is going to appear, and we can carry on while that does its own thing. Just take a couple of minutes. We're going to make sure the DJI Assistant is closed on our machine. I actually have it open, so as you can see, I've got it open here, so I'm just going to close it. And then I'm going to make sure that any of my 3D printing software, which is also open, I'm just going to make sure that it's closed because I typically want to mess around with your ports. And if you've got WTF OS open in one of your tabs, maybe on your browser, make sure that they are closed as well, meaning that there's nothing connecting to your goggles. Then we're going to connect our goggles in a powered off state to the computer. I'm just going to actually turn my goggles off. We're going to launch the Windows Run Me Bat. Okay, and then we're going to power on the goggles and we're going to go through the whole process of here. But first, we've got to install this driver. Okay, so I'm just going to wait until this finishes and we'll uh, resume when it gets back, guys. Okay, so you guys can see it says press any key to close the install. It means the driver has now been successfully installed. So we do that and then we just follow the instructions. As you guys can see, it essentially says launch the button, run the bat me, go through the whole options that it says on the screen and there's even some troubleshooting sections below. So obviously try another cable, restart your computer, try another computer, the standard stuff that goes with troubleshooting. So in this case, I can close this and I'm just going to run this one. And I always like to just right click and say run as administrator. If you don't have administrator rights, then you might have some issues. Okay, so in this case, you can see it says Ultimate Cure is running. Um, please close it before proceeding. I have closed it, but let me just quickly check my task manager. And would you know, it's actually still running in the background. Okay, there, I've just closed it. Okay, so now I'm going to press any key to continue. The little pop-up is going to disappear. You can see it actually gave me an error, so I've got to start the entire thing over again. So I'm just going to quickly click on Run Administrator. It pops up like that. I'm going to press any key to continue. Please connect your goggles. I've already done this. So it's turned off, as you can see. Power on your goggles now. One, two. So let's just give it a second to detect. Remember to make sure that your USB cable is connected properly. As you can see, it says failed with error number one. So I've got no idea what that is. I'm just going to plug out my goggles. I'll plug it back in again. Okay, so I've plugged into a different USB port with a different USB cable. And there we go. 
Okay, so the issue was the USB port or the USB hub that I was using. I moved it to a different port on my machine and now it's running as you guys can see. Remember, I'm still in the updated 03 version, or sorry, DJ Avata mode, but I actually think it wouldn't have made a difference. The problem of that error that we received was still there when we tried. So I think the solution was just to move to a different port. There must have been a driver conflict or something on that port. Okay, so I can hear the rebooting in the background. So it's done quite a few things, but now obviously after it's rebooted, it's going to do the next step. So let's just wait for it to continue. Okay, so there we go. Margarine brought to you. So this means we've now successfully downgraded to the uh, lower firmware version that enables us to enable the routing process. So now once the routing process has done, I can actually hear the goggles rebooting and you can also see on the screen that the system is automatically trying to reboot and continue and get communication and there we go it actually says please restart in my goggles I can actually see that it is back to original state it's now going to reboot again but I can actually go into the goggles and go set my language uh, up field up again from the first time I've set it up so it's completely back to default or stock there you can go it now says your device is now unlocked so that process is just completed successfully so let's just give it a second to reboot further also if you guys can go over to the WTF or the github page and support these guys I mean without them this would not have been possible guys so a small little donation might be go a really long way to get this done maybe on the Google Studio or something else as well okay so now it's gonna run through the next process okay so probably gonna update the latest version we've already unlocked it completely and this is just great stuff because technically I've only pressed enter twice on the keyboard and I've re rebooted the goggles twice so it's an incredibly easy process to follow okay almost at the home stretch guys you can see there routing and flashing complete we can now go to the browser and uh, continue so the great thing is check this out I'm just gonna press any key it automatically opens up the browser which is my WTF OS install well the great thing is that remember it's already rooted so the only real thing we want to do is install WTF OS and guess what that's the first thing we see on the screen you click install you literally just wait for it to run through now remember guys if you like the content that I'm making and you've got any questions please um, put a like on the video comment below with your question and I'll do my absolute best to see if I can get back to you with guys like you guys supporting the channel we can hopefully try and see if we can get past the 8,000 or 9,000 subscriber mark that's still this year I really do appreciate your support if you guys want to there's also some affiliate links below those affiliate links are linked and I make a small little commission down there so if you want to support the channel maybe check out some of the links below and uh, yeah let me know okay as you guys can see WTF OS is almost finished installing and then we just got to install some nice modules for us and then we can call it a day okay as you guys can see WTF OS is now installed if you go and click on the top three little dots aligns on the top left you can go to home and you can just see that the root option is grayed out because you've already rooted your goggles if you click on WTF OS you can see you've got an option to actually remove it from there as well so we just go back to the home one so the one we want to go to now is we want to actually go and install all the fun stuff to our goggles so let's go to the package manager and on the package manager we are going to select the modules we want to have enabled. Now, obviously, we don't want to enable everything because we don't need everything. But the stuff that I'm going to enable is the stuff, stuff that I typically use on my goggles. Purely because I think some of the other stuff is just, it's nice to have, but it doesn't really add anything to my flying experience. So, let's quickly just wait for the packages to load. And I'll show you which ones I like to load. Okay, so fetching packages is now run successfully. Remember, if you do have a bit of an issue, just restart, reload the page, and you should be fine. Okay, so this thing I like to do, 
I like to enable auto UAV recording. If you don't know what it is, you can click the little um, help button over there and there's a little GitHub page which you can read through if you want to. In my case, I like it, so I click install. Just give it a minute to run through the process. It's done. The next one is I don't really care about that. Um, stream Moonlight, no, I don't do that. I don't care about that, but I want to have this one done. So basically, I do not need to have the NACO and the NACO power file on my uh, SD card on my goggles anymore. So I'm definitely going to install this one on my goggles, meaning that if I do format my goggles for, to spore space in my goggles, then I don't lose my FCC mod. Okay, so that's great. Um, yeah, why not? I'm going to install the splash screen so that I know that I've got WTF OS on my goggles. And this is great because if you sometimes you read the goggles and you don't know. So if you want to give the goggles to someone else and you don't like the splash screen, just click remove. It's so simple as that. But I like it because it reminds me, ah, I have WTF OS on the system, especially if you've got more than one goggles. Okay, or if you've messed, mixed your goggles up with someone else, then that could be great. Okay, so you can also go and change your, um, your splash screen to whatever image you want, which is pretty cool. Just put these names on the root of your SD card and your goggles and it'll go on but the one we really need to enable is the MSP one this is the biggest and important one you need without that you're not going to get the OSD display on the goggles now remember with the latest version of Betaflight 404 we can get Betaflight OSD on it but still do that it just enables all of the functionality that you really need to, to have okay and then you can scroll down there is uh, fixes binding loss, so I'm just going to install that because just in case I lose my uh, connection or my bind between my vistas and my stuff, that I can still have that over there. And then also prevent accidental force upgrades of the goggles by connecting to the Fly app. So I just I always say never update unless absolutely necessary. I want to be in control of when I update. So in this case I will enable that. Okay, so as you can see, I have now enabled everything that's on the screen, and now I am done. I'm now going to reboot my goggles. I can now close WTF OS uh, web page, and I can now go into my goggles, and I will be done. But what I can do now is I can also hook up my little Vista that I've got here, and make sure that it is on the correct firmware version and stuff like that. Just want to check what my Vista version is on. Okay, so I'm just going to plug into DJI FPV series. As you can see, it pops up automatically. My little Vista already has the NACO file on it, but I'm just going to remove it. You can see over here that I cannot load firmware, which is perfect. That means WTF OS is already installed on this, meaning I'm just going to go to my web browser, go to the WTF OS homepage as well. Remember, the Vista is now powered on. I can see that it has connected. There's my device. I'm just going to connect, but I can see that it's not rooted. So I'm just going to go read that. That's fine. I click on root device, and now I'm just going to root my Vista as well. If you have a fan, Put it over the unit, it's going to take a while. So as you can see, my firmware version is already loaded, so I am on the correct version. I'm just going to make sure that my whole process was done correctly. And then we're going to boot up and see if I can change the, the milliwatts on my goggles, because it was previously locked at 25, and obviously we want to go up to 1,200 milliwatts. Once again, guys, as you guys can see, I'm not really doing much. I'm just waiting for the process to complete. Okay. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you like the video, please click like. If you want some support or support the channel, please use some of the affiliate links below. Okay, so as you guys can see at the bottom of the screen, it's all been done. My device has now been routed. I can go down to the top, click on the home button, and you can click on WTF OS. You can see I can remove it as well, or I can go to the package manager. Let me just go to home. And the package manager is available, and my root option is now disabled, meaning that my little Vista is now rooted. Click on package manager. Let's quickly see what is available there. And over here, you can see we want to enable the MSP 
um, option and we also want to enable the 1200 milliwatt option as well so this is great because now i know my vista is correct i know my goggles is correct and if i reboot now i should get my 1200 milliwatt option in my goggles and that is it guys um if you like what i'm doing once again guys i know i'm asking through the video quite a lot but i need your support to grow the channel so um, please leave a comment below and uh, see you guys in the next one thanks guys